gathered here today for a very, very, very special occasion. As you can see, I'm sitting here very closely at the feet of this Supreme Happiness Yogi Hacking. His Supreme Happiness, Yogi Happy, has volunteered to break his vow of silence and communicate with me telepathically today and answer some of the questions that so many people are asking in the world today. His Supreme Happiness, Yogi Happy, has decreed that on account of the way the world is in these times, it is now time for him to communicate his great message of peace, of hope, and of power. So we're very, very, very privileged today. This is a live satellite question and answer format. I have the Questions coming in over here on this screen, you can't see it, just after the camera, from all over the world, literally all over the world. We're broadcasting from his Supreme Happiness, Yogi Happy's favorite meditation spot here, next to this beautiful banyan tree. And we are stationed in the Hawaiian Islands, a remote landmass. And Yogi Happy today is addressing all superheroes and would-be superheroes. For those of you that are not familiar with that term, what it means is those of you that are ready to transform your lives in the most miraculous way, undergo a complete and total transformation, and liberate the world, liberate the planet, liberate the children, liberate the people, liberate the animals, liberate the birds, liberate nature, liber liberate everyone and everything from the dreadful suffering that's pervading the earth right now. Is Supreme Happiness Yogi Happy? He's here to answer your questions. So we're just gonna take a moment of silence. And in case you're wondering who I am, my name is Nick Good. I am the uh, official channel for Yogi Happy, uh, prepared through years of rigorous training and I'm very, 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 very pleased to be able to be communicating this supreme happiness download for you today at this auspicious and most wonderful time. Please join us in a moment of silence. Be aware of the sound of the waves. We can hear a huge surf crashing on the shores of this Hawaiian island right now. The whales are jumping, whales are breaching. There's lots of dolphin activity. Very, very, very powerful time. Without further ado, let us begin the channeling. Supreme Happiness would like you to know that it is his supreme joy to be here with you at this moment in time. I can see the questions coming through right now, so we're going to begin with the first question. This question is from Stephen from Fiskerton in the United Kingdom. Stephen is asking he says a simple question, just a warm up for Yogi Happy. What is the meaning and the true purpose of life? You see, his supreme happiness is downloading right now. Yogi Happy says, 
that the true meaning and purpose of life is found in the mystery of love that is revealed through you. You should dedicate your life, Yogi Happy says, to the becoming of this mystery. He recommends two very specific practices. Yogi Happy says, say your prayers and love God with all your heart and mind and soul. When Yogi Happy says God, he's communicating to me right now, he says it refers to the presence which surrounds everything. The presence which can be found at the center of everything. But the presence is never the thing. This is what Yogi Happy is referring to when he says God. The presence which surrounds everything but is not that thing. The presence which fills everything but is not that thing. Thank you, Yogi Happy. Yogi Happy would like you to know that the Holy Presence which surrounds everything surrounds it as pure potential for expansion and growth along the frequencies of love. He says that the Holy Presence which fills everything fills it as pure potential alone. Yogi Happy says that if you truly wish to know the meaning and purpose of life, then dedicate your life to the expression of that holy presence. Thank you, Yogi Ham. Next question. This question is from Kevin of Lincoln in the United Kingdom. Kevin is asking, has Yogi Happy ever had sexual relations? Does Yogi Happy recommend sexual relations as a positive thing for spiritual growth? Thank you for your question, Kevin. Let's see what Yogi Happy has to say. Yogi Happy is thanking you, and he's saying that yes, indeed, when he was a younger monkey, he did engage in sexual relations and had a lot of fun doing so. But he also says that once he found the spiritual path, he chose for a time to become Brahmacharya. That means, in other words, to maintain celibacy and dedicate his love and um, um, sensitivity and tenderness to the invisible Holy Presence. He says that this experience fills him with a very, very, very high degree of sensuality. He's glad for his sexual adventures, but now he prefers the sublime feeling of pure, pure love in communion with God. Just a moment. His supreme happiness also says that should the day come when he meets um, someone, perhaps his soulmate, someone perhaps that he feels absolutely and totally in harmony with, someone who has dedicated their life um, to the expression of God's love, then he is quite open to whatever way the relationship flows. But right now, being a single monkey, he prefers to be in communion with this Holy Presence and he enjoys a high degree of sublime sensual satisfaction from that. One, he says, that could be likened to a constant orgasmic state. A constant orgasmic state, but he wants to emphasize the lower level orgasmic state. Um, you may be able to hear a helicopter in the background. 
as you may or may not know, Yogi Happy uh, identity, true identity, and his whereabouts have to be kept top secret at all times. The information that he contains, the power of love that he demonstrates, well, let's put it this way. There are certain interests in this world that do not want this message to come out to humanity. And so, you know, you're happy he's taking the precaution of maintaining absolute secrecy as to his whereabouts. Because, as you can hear from the helicopters, he attracts a lot of attention when he comes out to do something like this. So without further ado, let's keep answering these questions. And please, if you're listening to this live broadcast, feel free to ask your question, because who knows, this may never be repeated again. Okay, here's another question coming through. This question is from Kelly from Hawaii. Kelly's asking, what is the best way to dissolve all of the negative vibrations in the subconscious and the unconscious? Very good question, Kelly. Let's see what the Supreme Happiness has to say about this. Yogi Happy says that in order to dissolve all the negative vibrations in the subconscious and the unconscious, one needs to stay focused in the center of the heart and breathe God's love into his or her being. At the same time, radiating out blessings and prayers of forgiveness into the world towards everyone and everything you meet. He's asking for me to pause right now and inviting you to become heart center. Yogi Happy says, put your hands on your heart, close your eyes, smile, and look up with it. Yogi Happy says, use the beauty of your tenderness to connect with the Holy Presence. He says, reach out with your heart space. He said, if your heart has been broken or if your heart has been wounded, then use that tenderness to reach out to the Holy Presence. He says, smile and look up within. Keep your eyes closed, smile and look up within. Yogi Happy says, the Holy Presence is so very, 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 very close to your heart. Yogi Happy says, use your tenderness to feel it. Be certain, he says, according to your faith, so shall it be. Yogi Happy says, he loves the teachings and sayings of Jesus. Yogi Happy, in fact, spent time with Jesus years and years and years ago in the desert in intense meditation. This is a wonderful story. Thank you so much for sharing your company. Mm. How privileged we are today to be receiving this message. Okay, more questions, Yogi Happy says. Okay, well here's a great question. This is from Danny from the UK. Danny is asking, is it wise or necessary to eat meat. Uh -huh. in, uh, he says, for human beings in general to eat meat. He says sometimes he feels a little weak on a raw food diet. Sometimes he feels a little uh, wishy-washy uh, just eating vegetables and wants his supreme happiness, Yogi Happy's opinion on this. Okay, let's see what Yogi Happy has to say. Thank you, Yogi Happy. Yogi Happy was um, very direct then. He said it's not natural for human beings to eat meat, but there are many human beings, he says, that cannot do without it. 
But he says, in any case, that is not necessarily the point. The point is, says Yogi Happy, that unloved animals are being raised on unloved land and slaughtered in an unloving way and then prepared and uh, commercially prepared in an unloving way, sold in an unloving way, bought in an unloving way, cooked in an unloving way, and eaten in an unloving way. Yogi Happy wants us all to remember that love is the way. In fact, love is the method, the goal, and the way. This is wonderful, Yogi Happy. Thank you so much for sharing. He says, love your food, love all animals, love all creatures, and if you can't do without me, then prepare it in a most loving way. But he wants to take you to know that if you cleanse your bowel, if you do um, bowel cleansing, if you use herbs to remove the um, residual of undigested protein and putrefied protein in your bowels, then your um, need to eat meat, especially often, will diminish, he says. And you will be able to replace meat with other much healthier alternatives. Thank you so much. Okay, here's some more questions coming through. This from is from this one is from Cynthia from Australia. Cynthia is asking, why do we need to become superheroes in the world? I want to become a superhero and I want to know how to do it. Okay, well let's ask Yogi Happy. Thank you, Yogi Happy. Yogi Happy says that there is a great need for superheroes in the world today. People that will look at the system, look at the matrix and see it for what it is, but that they will not begin attacking and judging, especially what he calls evil, and they will dedicate their lives instead to becoming the embodiment of the absolute opposite of that. Yogi Happy means goodness, natural goodness. In other words, he says, being Allowing the spirit that God put in you, the spirit that life gave you, the spirit that is wants to express through you, if you will dedicate your whole life to manifesting and expressing that spirit. I can see Cynthia asking another question right now. She wants a Yogi Happy to define exactly what spirit means. Yogi Happy. Yogi Happy says the spirit is the energy, the pure potential energy within the soul. He says spirit is like electricity, the soul is like the battery. He says the body can run on the battery on its own, but it will wear out eventually and it will die. The body will die, he says. So we need the spirit in the soul. Uh, he says the spirit will leave the soul, even though the body can still carry on functioning, if the individual, if the personality, thinks, speaks, acts and feels in a disharmonious way. Disharmonious, happy says, with the nature of the spirit. Hmm. Very interesting. Thank you very much, happy. He says, superheroes dedicate their life to embodying that spirit in every single thing that they do. This is wonderful. And he says, this is what the world really, 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 really needs, is individuals that are absolutely alive, 100% alive, are juiced with the spirit of life, and are expressing that. Thank you. Here's another question now. This is from Kristen in New Zealand. Kristen's asking, could Yogi Happy explain a little more about how a body can function without its spirit? Okay. Okay, that's very clear. Yogi Happy says, thank you, Kristen, for the question. He says, there are many scriptures, many texts that refer to the living dead. He says that the soul is like a container and you can fill that container from one side with the vibrations of your thoughts, 
words and actions and feeling space. He said, from the other side, you can fill the container with the Holy Spirit. But as soon as that spirit leaves, says Yogi Happy, on account of negative vibrations, negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative words, negative actions, negative, he says, towards yourself, negativity to other people, negativity towards the world, nature and the creatures in it. He says when that happens, then the soul will fill up with negativity and uh, the individual then will take on the appearance of the living death, i.e. something like a zombie that functions in the world, that needs to live off the world, needs to be fed by the world, becomes addicted to the things of the world and becomes trapped in the world and what Yogi Happy says, we can consider the matrix. Yogi Happy says he's a great fan of the matrix films. He said he, he really enjoyed those and he watches them from time to time to review that material because he feels it's a perfect analogy actually how many people are experiencing life in the world. Many people in the world are caught in the matrix and he says that those of us that are not caught in the matrix are, are uh, known as superheroes. Uh, we have a superhero level, level of consciousness and then we become like Neo and Trinity and Morpheus and all the rest of them when they have their full power and they have, he says, yeah, lost their fear of love and are expressing love, pure love in the world of form. Wonderful, wonderful. Yogi Happy also wants you to know that all the love that you're looking for is actually already inside of you. He says, oh ho, he wants us to take another three breaths. So we're gonna stop everything and take three breaths with Yogi Happy and receive the blessings of the Satguru, his supreme happiness, Yogi Happy. Yogi Happy is reminding us to smile, close our eyes, look up within, put our hands on our hearts, use the beauty of our tenderness to simply open and surrender to the living love of life. Yogi says, listen to the ocean and feel the roar of the ocean. And he says, feel for the silent roar of the love of life as the grace, amazing grace he calls it, comes flowing in. Yogi wants you to know that according to your faith, so shall it be, he says. He says, make your faith a tiny, tiny, tiny burning seed in your heart of hearts. And be certain, be certain, be certain in your heart and hearts that that seed will grow into your full potential as a self-realized human being. Thank you so much, Yogi Happy. Tremendous wisdom we're sharing here today with this supreme happiness. Goodness me, we are rejoicing. More questions, Yogi Happy says. I think the helicopter has just motivated him to get moving along here. Okay, well here's another question coming in. Yogi Happy. This is from Sarah in, where is it? Indonesia. Sarah is asking, Sarah is saying, Yogi Happy, I have a husband uh, who is not supporting my spiritual path and I'm experiencing friction between us. Do you have any advice? Okay, Yogi Happy says thank you for asking that question, Sarah. He said he's witnessed many, many, many uh, people in the past that are in relationships and where the partner has been non-supportive of the, of the spiritual relationship. And as one of the individuals unfolds, the other tends to stagnate. Um, his supreme happiness is recommending that you treat the whole situation with prayer, especially deep forgiveness prayers. He's recommending, whose prayers happy? Howard Wills, the prayers of Howard Wills. I can make those um, prayers available for you. We can make those, those prayers available for you, no problem at all. 
but he says check out howardwills.com howardwills.com and do those prayers he says direct those prayers to you towards your loved ones and he says um, go into a silent blessing supportive mode be positive and caring loving and supportive he says humble yourself do not get a spiritual ego and he says if things haven't changed if after several weeks of prayer your partner has not um, begun to improve their life spiritually then he says you should um, uh, look at whether this relationship is actually conducive to you on a long-term basis and begin a dialogue with your partner if you are considering um, this um, possibility and this question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so his supreme happiness just wants to send a special message now to all the um, superheroes in the world. And um, he's saying that he's very aware and he's very, very, very grateful for all the good work that you're doing in the world, all the efforts that you're making in the world. He says that the spring energies will give you a lift. He says the March, the late March, he's saying in the 20. 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26th of March, he says the spring, new spring energies, the spring equinox, once those energies really, really land, then the new age will have begun. He said up until then, we're still dealing with the past issues of the old age. So he says, don't worry if old things are still coming up, old patterns are coming up, you will be liberated from those. He says, keep on keeping on, stay tuned, for the next broadcast, 